Some neighbors are banding together in Fort Mill to fight a 7-Eleven convenience store and storage units from being built right behind this elementary school. They say those businesses can breed crime and they don't want that near Dobie's Bridge Elementary School. South Carolina reporter Greg Suskin uh, took their concerns to City Hall. Greg? Yeah, in just about 20 minutes or so from now, these neighbors will speak before Fort Mill town leaders hoping to make a last minute push for a change in this development, a development that they say will make that school less safe. Doby's Bridge Elementary School hasn't even been open five years, but this quiet corner off the bypass will soon be home to a convenience store and hundreds of storage units right behind the school and its playground. My first concern was the crime that kind of comes along with those places. For Kate Colosi, who has a first grader at Dobie's Bridge, they could do much better. It's just not some place I would want right back up to my child's school. When they first started clearing the land a few months ago, Rick Hayes had a different reaction. At first I was excited. I was like, oh, they're going to put some stores in there, restaurants, coffee shop maybe, ice cream shop for the kids to go to. But that's not what's coming. Since the land has been zoned commercial years before the school was built, the project didn't have to be announced for a public hearing. Hayes says that shouldn't be all that matters. We understand it's zoned commercial, but come on, keep it a, a family community. Because the dirt is already turned and the permits approved, neighbors know they may be fighting a losing battle. Still, Hayes started this online petition to stop the development and already has more than 600 signatures. Fort Mill Mayor Gwen Savage told me the bypass was laid out in 2003, and like most similar roads, it's open to any commercial development that fits the regulations. I wouldn't be able, nor would you, uh, legally to select which one comes. So I did ask the mayor what she expects to say to these people when they speak out tonight. She said she does want to hear their concerns, but says they've had lots of opportunities before now to learn what kind of development is allowed on that road. Those neighbors say those developments and those particular businesses won't benefit the community. We're live in Fort Mill. Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.